A fitting send-off for a founding father, statesman, tour de force, patriot, His Excellency, the most honorable author Dion Hanna, whose life work will be remembered throughout the ages. Al Javis Munnings reports tonight on Hanna's final track from Parliament to his televised state funeral. It was a solemn day for the Bahamas as former Governor General, former Deputy Prime Minister, former Cabinet Minister and former Parliamentarian, the Honorable A.D. Hanna, was laid to rest today. A.D. Hanna's body lied here at the House of Assembly for the past few days and the Bahamas remembers this patriotic Bahamian who truly loved his country. The state funeral procession began with the bearers' party removing Hannah's coffin, draped in the national flag, from the foyer of the House of Assembly onto the gun carriage. The firing and mourning parties, comprised of officers of the Royal Bahamas Police and Defense Forces, then assembled on Bay Street to march to Christ Church Cathedral. Upon arrival to the church, the honor guard saluted Hannah. Moments later, the Hannah family, led by daughter and parliamentarian Glennis Hannah Martin, entered the church to participate in the nearly two-hour service that followed all COVID-19 health and safety protocols. As Hannah's body was received inside the church, his coffin bore the Anglican white pall, which marks one's baptism into the Christian faith. Several tributes were paid to A.D. Hanna. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis reminisced that as a young boy, he learned about Hanna's love for the Bahamas with unrelenting devotion, courage, and passion. He gave his life to the Bahamian people in the struggle for majority rule and independence, playing a pivotal role in the march to both. Our greatest tribute to him is to pick up his baton and to continue the patriotic and civic endeavor of passing on to the next generation a more just, equal, and better country. At another time, when the emergency phase of the pandemic ends, the country should have another national tribute to celebrate the life and the extraordinary contributions of the most honorable A.D. Hanna. Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Brave Davis credits the heroic A.D. Hanna for his invaluable contribution to national development. Make no mistake about it. It was the policy of Bahamianization as conceived by the honorable A.D. Hanna and administered on his ministerial watch that was, with his earlier pioneering groundwork as Minister of Education, the twin catalyst for the emergence of a large and authentic black middle class in the Bahamas in the 1970s. He would go on in the ensuing decades to deepen and diversify his contributions to Bahamian nation building. Retired rector at St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Canon Crossley Joaquin, spent many times with his member, A.D. Hanna. He's confident Hanna's walk with God dominated his Christian faith. He struggled, as I hope we all are struggling, to have a closer walk with God. And so with grief, but also in joy, we place him today in the mercy of God, confident that he has prepared a place for him in his loving embrace and eternal kingdom. A procession to St. Matthew's Anglican Church graveyard on East Bay Street followed the service. It was during that ceremony that Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, presented Glennis Hannah Martin with the national flag. And the family bid a final farewell to their beloved relative. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News. Forums, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives and much more.